14-month-old Harley is just learning to walk. Good job, buddy. But his path is already filled with obstacles. He was born with esophageal atresia. A gap in his esophagus means he eats through a feeding tube connected to his stomach. We have to tube feed him every single day, and we do that four times a day. And his tube feeds take um, sometimes like an hour and a half. Making it worse, Harley has trouble tolerating almost everything he's fed. He often retches, but can't throw up. Sometimes when it gets really bad, he doesn't breathe for like, he's struggling to breathe for like two minutes, where he's just like, eh, eh, and he's like, <gasps> and then he starts doing it again, like he can't stop it. Doctors who treat esophageal atresia say it's common for kids to have trouble feeding, and solving the problem takes time. You can change any of the variables, the content of the formula, the rate at which it's fed, the route at which it's fed, prokinetic agents feeding more downstream if there's problems with gastric emptying. There's just not a simple answer to that. After experimenting with multiple formulas and homemade blends, they finally found one Harley can keep down. But unlike these products, it's not covered by the province. I was so excited and I brought it up to our dietitian and she just said no because it's not on the approved list. Lowen has done the math. She says feeding Harley with the product Nourish would cost about $900 a month, more than they can afford. In a statement, the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority says it's working with the province and the family to come up with a solution. But it says a new product will not be approved unless it's found to have something the others are lacking. And Lowen has just found out Nourish will not be covered by the Manitoba Home Nutrition Program. The WRHA says they can appeal the decision. The family hopes it doesn't come to that. We have to figure this out. I pay into this health care system. My son deserves to not be experiencing this every day, and he deserves the best like life. And him retching and struggling to breathe every day when he does that is not the best life. Harley is slated to get corrective surgery in a few years. Until then, he'll keep using a feeding tube. I'm a lot better with it now. Like Now I can talk about it without... First thing I'm crying and I can, um, I can handle it a lot better, but it still it was a lot to take in with your first child. <laughs> Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg. Is it? <laughs>